Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so I want to do an update on the whole Morgan Freeman situation. So if you guys don't know, back in 2009, it came out that Morgan Freeman was sleeping with his step-granddaughter. Her name is Edina Hines, okay? So when this came out, this was a viral story. Folks talked about it for a little bit. But then because she was supposedly 23, you know what I'm saying, when the story came out, a lot of folks brushed it under the rug and really didn't, you know, take a second look and just kind of moved on, okay? So now, fast forward to 2015. And I did a video on this back in 2015. Her boyfriend, Lamar Davenport, um, supposedly killed her in an exorcism. There was something going on. Some people were saying it was a blood sacrifice. Other people were saying that, you know, he was trying to exorcise demons out of her that Morgan Freeman had injected into her. I don't know. But supposedly during an exorcism, he ends up stabbing her 16 times to death. Neighbors heard it. They saw it. This was in the middle of, you know, the street in broad daylight. This situation has never sat well with me. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys these old news clips from back in 2015. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Adina Hines, Morgan Freeman's beloved granddaughter, often walked the red carpet at his side. She even told Inside Edition how good he looked. I'm a fashionable guy, he doesn't have to worry about it. But that smile was dimmed forever, cops say, by her live-in boyfriend who stabbed her to death. It happened right here in the middle of the street. Adina Hines was reportedly stabbed 16 times with a hunting knife in what's being called a deranged act of exorcism by her boyfriend. The suspect, Lamar Davenport, is an aspiring actor and wannabe rapper. He was said to be in a drug-induced haze when the stabbing took place. You had a clear view of this whole thing. Disturbingly clear. Neighbor George Hudachko witnessed the stabbing from his apartment window. When his hand was going up and down, what was he saying? He was still saying, demon be out, demon I command you be gone. Brendan Tarafa yeah, also witnessed like the end. horror. You were just up here in this window, just four floors up. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, and I saw her laying on the ground right here. She wasn't moving. Oscar winner Morgan Freeman, who was married to Adina's grandmother, released this heartfelt statement. The world will never know her artistry and talent and how much she had to offer. Her star will continue to shine bright in our hearts, thoughts, and prayers. May she rest in peace. This is a recent photo of the couple seen at dinner with a friend who says he was with them in the hours before the tragedy and things seemed fine. Have you been here before? Adina yeah, was an actress ago. appearing in the film driver. Five Flights Up, which was released last May. She played a receptionist alongside her grandfather and actress Diane Keaton. If you'll just take this paperwork right over there, someone will be with you in just a moment. She was also on Broadway in the 2012 production of A Raisin in the Sun. I'm Adina and I'm playing the mean barista. And here she is in an episode of the ABC show, What Would You Do? The customers don't know she's an actress and think she's just a rude coffee shop barista. I want to make sure I get your order right because I don't want you to be complaining later. Meantime, authorities continue to piece together how a young woman in the prime of her life ended up dying in such a horrific way. All right, so you guys just saw those news clips. So recently, I would say about maybe six months ago, um, there was an account called Lamar Davenport and they started posting videos of Edina and Lamar and basically showing how much in love they were and how he really cared about her. And there was somebody posting on there and basically they're saying that this was an accident and that the truth will come out. Now, when you go back to those videos, it says all comments have been withheld. They're not allowing comments, but one of my subscribers, they had sent me a DMs with the screenshot. I think I still have them. I'm going to have to like really dig through all my DMs and find them. There was somebody on there commenting on the video. But like I said, now when you go on the video, you can't see anything, okay? But anyways, this is what's going viral now. Basically, Lamar Davenport's mother, when she was coming out of the trial because they sentenced her son to 20 years for killing Edina. So basically, the mother went off and she's blaming Morgan Freeman. So this is what the New York Post is reporting. Go ahead and check this out. So um, Lamar's mother came out and this is what she said. 
She says, Morgan Freeman molested her and he caused this. He did this. Lamar Davenport's mother yelled to reporters as she was ushered out of the courtroom for shouting to her son when Justice Ellen Beban handed down the 20 year sentence. He's innocent. It was an accident, she insisted. All right, so you guys just heard what she had to say. And I know a lot of people would dismiss it as just the rantings of a crazy mother. She's just mad that her son got 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Her son obviously killed her, you know, because he did it in front of people, pedestrians, in the middle of broad daylight. But like I said, the case never sat well with me because, you know, who just killed somebody while doing an exorcism in the middle of the street when a few years before this, it had come out that the stepdaughter was smashing the step-grandfather. And a lot of folks dismissed it because supposedly she was 23. But I would not be surprised if he had been grooming her and if they had been sleeping together well before she was 23 years old. Because let's not forget, the story came out when she was 23. That does not mean that that was the first time that he slept with her or that's when they started their relationship. He's been around her forever, okay? That was his first wife's grandchild. And so that was his step-granddaughter. So who's to say that their relationship didn't start sooner than that? And then let's also not forget that this year, it was also announced that eight women, eight different women, they also did a Me Too on Morgan Freeman saying that they were harassed. You know, he's like the creepy grandfather on set. And I remember calling out Rose McGowan because she wanted Morgan Freeman just thrown in jail. And like I told Rose McGowan, keep that same energy. The same energy you have for Morgan Freeman, make sure you have the same energy for your friend Asia Argento who was also sleeping with that 17 year old boy. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what some of these women were saying about Morgan Freeman. Go ahead and check this out. So one woman um, says in the summer of 2015, she worked as a PA, as a production assistant on the set of a comedy going in, of the comedy going in style. She says she experienced months of harassment, claiming that the actor touched her inappropriately and frequently commented on her figure and clothing. On one occasion, she says that Freeman kept trying to lift up her skirt and asking her if she was wearing any underwear. Alan Akron, a co-star in the film, reportedly told Freeman to stop. Morgan got freaked out and didn't know what to say. The accuser, who chose to remain anonymous, added, Another woman who was a part of the production staff on the 2012's heist thriller, Now You See Me, alleges that Morgan Freeman harassed her and an assistant by making crude comments about their bodies. We knew that if he was coming by not to wear any top that showed our breast, not to wear anything that would show our bottoms, meaning not wearing clothing that were fitted. A male staffer characterized Morgan Freeman as a creepy uncle, recalling an instant where Freeman massaged an intern's shoulders, one time I witnessed Morgan walk up to an intern, start massaging her, he said. The intern got visibly red and wiggled out of his grasp. It was very awkward. According to five sources who spoke to CNN, there was no human resource department at Revelations. Additionally, the women whom Morgan Freeman is allegedly harassed on film sets said that they didn't report the behavior at the time for fear of losing their jobs. So those were just some things that were reported by Morgan Freeman in early 2018. So I can't say that I'm shocked. You know, while, like I said, this woman might be saying that because she's upset that her son got 20 years, I do think that there's some creepy things going on with Morgan Freeman, especially, I don't care, people can try and clean it up and say, well, that's his step-granddaughter, there's no blood, she was of age, she was 23. That's still creepy. That's still not normal. That's still someone that you've known for a long time, that you helped raise. You don't then start a sexual relationship with them. That's no different than creepy ass Woody Allen, who sat there and raised his adoptive daughter, Soon Yi, and then started sleeping with her, married her, and they have children together. That shit is just creepy, okay? I don't give a damn if there's no blood relation. I don't care if she's of age. There's certain boundaries that you just don't cross. Point blank, period. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire creepy situation concerning Morgan Freeman and basically Lamar Devonport's mother coming out screaming and carrying on and saying that Morgan Freeman molested his granddaughter and that's why she had all these issues. Um, do you feel like there's any truth to what she's saying? And then how do you guys feel about the whole Edina Hines case in general? How everything came out in 2009 and then she was killed, you know, on a public street in an exorcism and and then now her killer's been given 20 years. And then also the Me Too allegations against Morgan Freeman. How do you guys feel about all of this? Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, 
definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.